Stephanie, you're going to break a nail using that old typewriter. I wrote my first novel on this. It's lucky. I sure hope so, because you need a bestseller. You free of the kids? They just left. All right, then let's do this. The men in this place are smoking. You never pay attention. Oh, cheer up. With the kids gone, you have time to focus on your book. And I, as your agent, suggest you hurry up, because you got a deadline with the publisher. This is the first time the kids have been on vacation without me. <laughs> is this the Stephanie I signed straight out of college? Wild, free, naughty. She was fun. She grew up, got married, had kids. And now she gets her life back. I have my career. And how supportive has Kevin been of your career? He was always in the office, never around when you were dealing with the kids. Oh, well, he's very busy. He's never even read your books. He thinks reading the jacket cover counts. My point exactly. I think you have an admirer. Oh, oh, oh no. He's looking your way. Go say hello. He's way too young. He's perfect in his sexual prime. Unlike men our age, willing to do anything to please you all night long. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what was the name of that woman in your first book? The one who dated younger guys? Vanessa. Yes, Vanessa. Vanessa was a modern woman who took what she wanted. She embraced life to the fullest, saving every moment. You wrote that. And then I killed her in the end because she was the embodiment of unrealistic desires. Her body was never found. She could have survived. Really? Maybe. But I don't want a boy toy. <sighs> okay. Time to get real. You're getting divorced, and that may not be your choice, but why should you suffer alone? Well, Kevin has all the fun. The truth is, right now, in this moment, you are a single a woman. Embrace it. <laughs> to embracing it. <laughs> so tomorrow night, dinner and a movie? I would, but you need to write. The publisher wants a first draft before Christmas. But I need inspiration. Cheap bottle of wine and some candles. Bye. I forgot my phone. I have to go back in. Bye. Good night. Book Stephen for next Thursday, and tell Dan I'll have a copy of the new hardback artwork on Tuesday. He hates the artwork. He's a writer. Tell him to leave the marketing to us. Whoa, it sounds like you're writing. That's great. I am on a roll, Shell. You remember how they didn't find Vanessa's body in the river? It's because she's still alive. I like that. I like that a lot. I feel like I should resurrect Vanessa. She's just got so much life to live. Hey, you sound different. What's going on with you? I took the advice from an old friend. Which advice? I've given you so much. <laughs> hey, I want to finish this chapter. I'll call you back. So, you didn't sound good on the phone. What's going on with you? Well, when Kevin and the kids were away this summer, I kind of had a fling. Kind of or not? Vanessa did. I don't follow. I was pretending to be Vanessa. It was like wearing a mask. I convinced myself that everything Vanessa did, I wouldn't be responsible for. So how was it? Tell me everything. Leave nothing out. No, it's not OK. When Kevin came back, I broke up with the guy. And now he won't go away. I care about my family, and if Kevin finds out that I slept with this guy or Anna... OK, first, you have nothing to feel guilty about. At the time you were with this guy, Kevin had left and divorce papers were filed, right? Yeah. And when Kevin came back, you did the right thing. You dumped this guy. So what's the problem? He won't leave me alone. Shelly, when Kevin and the kids were out, he broke into the house and drugged me. Stephanie, what are you doing? He broke in and drugged you? That's a crime. I know. Call the police. I can't. And why not? He's in high school. High school? Steph, I said young, but is he under 18? No. Please, I just... I need a little more time for the book. <clears throat> just need to get this one mess sorted out, please. They're not going to be happy, but I'll buy you a couple of weeks. But Stephanie? You've got to tell Kevin. It's better he hears it from you first. 
The jacket cover is not approved. Fix it or my client pulls the book. Please tell me you have at least the first chapter. No. I, I need some advice. Brady's dating Anna. Say that again? He goes to her school and they're dating. Oh, staff, sit down. He's of legal age, Stephanie. Call the police. I can't. For the first time, my marriage to Kevin is working. He is really trying to be a good husband and succeeding. This could ruin everything. I can't have that. This will ruin everything. Brady asked for one thing, and then he promised to leave us alone. A million dollars? To sleep with me one last time. 